I'm Alan Shipton and I'm the co-leader of the Buck Clayton Legacy Band which plays the music of the late Buck Clayton, Count, uh, trumpeter with Count Basie. And tonight we're here in Leicester doing the Peggy Lee project with singer Gwyneth Herbert which we've called Life is for Living after one of the songs that Peggy used to sing. The band was formed initially about 2004 because what happened was that Buck was a great friend of mine. We worked together on his autobiography, which I published in the 1980s. And then we d when he died in 1992, I was left a box of music by Buck with a little note in it saying, you've helped to keep my life uh, in people's memory with the book. Perhaps you can do the same thing with my music. So this wonderful box of music arrived. And it wasn't until I met Matthias Seufert, who plays the tenor saxophone and clarinet in the band, that I found somebody who could take what looked like the Dead Sea Scrolls, all these sort of remarkable different bits of music, so some of them were head sheets, some of them were just notes of chords, and others were full band arrangements. Mm -hmm. So we needed to make them into something that we could work with a band roughly the same as the one that Buck brought to Europe in the 1960s. So we have two trumpets, two saxophones, trombone, piano, bass, guitar and drums, and that's what Matthias did. And so it took us a while, but in 2004 we launched the band at the Ascona Festival in Switzerland, and we've been playing ever since. Well, I started listening to jazz when I was very young because my dad had been out in the Far East during the war. And when he came back, Radio Hong Kong had been selling off a lot of its old 78s. So, miraculously, they survived the incredibly long voyage by sea. And so we got a box of records, which included a lot of classical music. But the thing that really excited me when I was very small was the jazz records of Duke Ellington, Earl Hines, Fats Waller, a lot of the great names of jazz. And so when I was very small, that was the soundtrack in our house. I'm passionate about both jazz history and passing that on to a new generation. I teach the jazz history course at the Royal Academy of Music and I have taught before at City University and at Oxford Brookes University and in all those cases what I'm doing is working with young jazz musicians and in some cases classical musicians too and giving them a background on the music and some starting points because when you're a young musician, in most cases, you learn about the music of your own instrument. You then, let's say you're a saxophonist, you might discover John Coltrane, Sonny Rollins, and then you have to start working back and finding out where that music came from. So my intention has always been to open up new possibilities for young musicians and then to give them the tools and the equipment to go on and explore that music further. And I think this is something that I've made very much my life's work, both in terms of writing a textbook for colleges here and in America, and also publishing the words of musicians who I hope that my students will encounter along the way. And I hope, of course, obviously, that lots of other people will encounter that same set of books and set of words by the musicians, as well as their music. It's a pretty difficult thing to balance all the different, different components of my life, and of course, at a time when the band is doing quite a lot of gigs, as we are at the moment, because we're here in Leicester this week, we're in Derby next week, we're in Oxford last week, uh, we're travelling about quite a bit. And some of the musicians live abroad, so I have the logistical challenge of bringing in musicians from Germany and Holland. So running the band itself is quite a major uh, occupation, in addition to which, uh, obviously I have a weekly programme on Radio 3 and I also work on production of other programmes at uh, BBC Radio. And in the middle, I try and squeeze in some time to write and to teach. So it's a very difficult juggling act. But at the core, it's all about an enthusiasm for music and a belief that not only is music very important in my life, and therefore I hope in the lives of the people that I can reach out to through all those media, but that I hope that it will encourage other people to get the same level of fun and involvement out of music that I do. The Buck Clayton Legacy Band has a big project this year because this is the 40th anniversary. Yes, the 40th anniversary of Duke Ellington's death. And so, what we're hoping to do later this year is again for this lineup, there are many Duke Ellington small groups, and Buck and Duke were extremely good friends. In fact, uh, Duke Ellington was the best man at Buck's wedding. So, uh, it's rather a fitting thing that we can actually celebrate through a band which was set up to honour one great jazz musician, perhaps the greatest of the Bourne Duke Ellington. So that's going to be this year's project, getting that repertoire together, and I hope playing some concerts in the second half of the year. My name's Alan Shipton, and you're watching Leicester Jazz House TV.